Hey, Dan, how are you? I am good. How are you, John? I am well. I am well. So I want to talk a little bit on the, the management side of salespeople, but in a very specific way. So we salespeople have to or happen to be rather opinionated, typically. Uh, a little you strong, a little strong willed. Um, you know, invariably there's conflict between salespeople. If you have a team that's got any element of size, like two, um, but th they'll go at each other at times for all sorts of reasons. That was my lead, or, or you name it. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the keys to managing salespeople when it comes to conflict between them? I'm one of these people that I don't like conflict. Mm when I view conflict as being bad? What if I viewed conflict as being good? Because conflict can be good. It allows for weaknesses to become stronger. It allows for innovation to occur. It allows yes. for things that you didn't know were problems to be solved. So if we look at conflict as a good thing, that's the first step. Second, as an owner or manager, or leader, or whatever, I have to step back and go, am I the reason for the conflict? Did I cause it? Was it a policy I had in place? Was it the way I said something? Was it an email that went out? Am I the cause of it? And, and then third, what do we do with this? If you look at conflict as being hostile, you got two encampments and, and they're battling yeah. each other, right? The, the, the thing is, how can we make them so that they're both neutral towards each other? And then how do we get them so they actually cooperate with each other? That's the ultimate goal. Now, sure. let me give you a little warning here because this happens a lot. And I'll give you an example of a parent. I want you to pretend that you're in your minivan drive and you got two, I don't know, teenagers in the back and they're fighting with each other and you're getting all frustrated. You see steam coming out your ears and you turn around and you yell at them. You're like, come on, come on, come on. what happens? Both of them turn on you. Yes. Now you're the bad guy and they're on the same team. And, and this is this happens a lot with management and leadership. We see two people fighting and we try to get in the middle and everything. And before we know it, they both turn against us. So don't become a referee. Hmm. Stay out of that. It's all very intellectual at this point. Let's calm the emotions down. Let's figure this all out. Hostile, hostile neutral, and then cooperate. That's the key. Yeah, it's interesting, especially the the kid example, because we've all been there. We've all had those moments of one more word, you know. We've had those vents of frustration, and and it can be tough with salespeople because they're again they're very strong willed, and if you can't keep them oriented on the same page as best as you can at, at the majority of the time, it get get it can get tough. It really can. Can you imagine two salespeople going at each other? You bring them into the conference room and you start out by saying, I am so glad we have this conflict. This is awesome. Let's work it out. They'll be like, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah, but to your point, conflict brings things to the surface that maybe everybody knows is there, but everybody's sort of suppressing and kind of ignoring and just not dealing with. And sometimes it brings it to the surface that you didn't see and you need to, you need to address it. So totally agree. Yeah. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow. Have fun with that one. <laughs> <laughs>